Hi guys, it's LPS Honey, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize my LPS and LPS accessories. So I'll admit I really like having things organized in their own specific little places. So let's get started and I'll start off by showing you guys where I keep most of my LPS. So I have five main areas where I store LPS. Now that may seem like a lot to you guys, but like I said, I like to keep things organized in their own little spots. So the first two areas are these two drawers. And this is a four drawer little unit, I guess. And I got this for around $25, I believe, which is a little pricey, so it's not the best cheap option. But if you can afford it, I definitely recommend it because the drawers are really huge. So in this first drawer, this is where I keep all my non-dog and cat LPS. So as you can see, you can fit tons of LPS in here and there's still like a lot of room left to store more LPS. And I also keep some Ziploc bags in here as well. So the first one is all of my little mini blind bag kind of sized LPS. And then I have all of my teensy LPS. And then lastly, all my sparkle LPS. And the reason I keep them in a bag is because I don't want these sparkles like scraping any of the LPS. So they can fit easily in there as well with the LPS. So it's really good having all that space. And then the second drawer is where I keep majority of my dogs and cats. So I don't have as many dogs and cats as I do um, non-dogs and cats. So there is a ton of space left in here. But yeah, I also have um, some foxes in here because I just love foxes and I want to keep them kind of away from the other ones so I just know where they are and I can get to them easily. And I also have another Ziploc bag filled with um, blind bag sized dogs and cat LPS. So the next area where I keep LPS are these two drawers here. Now they're not connected, they actually stack on top of each other and you can take them all apart which is really handy especially when you're moving them around. And I think these were around $10 each, maybe $5, I'm not 100% sure. But these are really really good because they are really cheap and really easy to put together. And again, you can store a lot of LPS in here. I don't because um, in here are kind of more valuable LPS, but you can if you wanted to. So as you can see, there's like a lot of room here to store my LPS. But in here I have most of my Collies, Cocker Spaniels, Dash Hounds and Short Haired Cats. And then in here I have Great Danes, Beagles, Puppies, Kittens. And I also have some kind of like random dogs and cats that I really love. So I have some Bonbons, um, Gabriel, uh, Bull Terrier, Walking Cat, King Charles Spaniel, um, some German Sh Sorry guys, my camera just cut out. But as I was saying, they're just some random um, dogs and cats that I really love. And I like to access them easier, so I keep a lot of the... LPS Love Hurts cast in here, so like Gabriel and in here I have Naomi, Derek, all that, so I can get to them really easy when I'm making episodes. Then the last main area I store LPS is in here. This is a kind of carry um, case that you can seal up and you can find this at hardware stores, very cheap. And what I love about this is that you can keep LPS in their own little individual area. And also these little walls actually come out. So you can make the area bigger or smaller depending on how many LPS you're storing together. So in here I keep a lot of my more rare LPS. So as you can see I have some of my mystery LPS. I also have um, 605 and like... Uh, I can't remember the number, but the two hour and just LPS that are worth quite a lot of money. Either that or I really like them. So like I have my uh, mod panda in here because I love this panda and I've wanted it for years. So now that I have it, I want to keep it kind of separate and safe. Um, so yeah, I really recommend this if you have LPS that you want to keep like kind of special and out of the way and really don't want them to get scratched. 
Now as for accessories, I also store them in a lot of different places, but the main place is in here. This is the first drawer. So this is where I keep all my medium and kind of large accessories. So I have things like beds, small cars, chairs, um, just all that kind of stuff, little mirrors, everything like that is kept in here. So it's just kind of easy to access. And all my small accessories I keep in here. Again, I think I found this at like an art store and I just decorated it with stickers. That's what it originally looked like. But very cheap, um, a little storage area. Um, first row is all my uh, accessories, so like collars, hats, glasses, all that kind of stuff. Second is like bathroom stuff, so like makeup, toothbrushes. I also have a lot of dishes, so like bowls, plates, all that. Third row is all of my food. And fourth row is just kind of miscellaneous stuff, so like presents, cameras, teddies, all that kind of random small accessories. And the last place I store my accessories is just little random boxes. I really recommend this because you can just find anything. This box was used for chocolates, this is an old jewellery box, and these two are just little containers I found around the house. So definitely look around and ask anyone if they have anything they kind of just want to throw away because they really can be handy for storing stuff. So in here I keep my small baby accessories. Again, these are my baby accessories, so like the little deco bits you get with the G4 LPS I keep in here. In there I keep all my G2 baby LPS and also like these little um, bugs that came with the fairy LPS. And then in this container I keep all my fabric clothes, so like hats and scarves and things like that. So that's where I keep all of my LPS guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you kind of find places to put your LPS. Unfortunately I don't have like a nice big shelf where I can display all of my LPS but I'm fine with that as I can keep them in like drawers and get to them easy. But yeah, really keep an eye out for just things you can DIY. So like chocolate boxes and stuff like that can really be handy for keeping LPS. But yeah, that's all I have time for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.